Liberals are the biggest hypocrites I have ever seen in my entire life. For months, they have screamed that President Trump is corrupt, but have offered no proof to back their claims. A perfect example of that would be the Russian collusion fiasco we keep hearing about in the news. They know that they do not have one shred of evidence, yet they keep pushing this bogus narrative. The reason that liberals do this is to cover up the fact that there are real criminals running amok within their own party. Well, finally, one of these criminals have been caught red-handed and what she did is absolutely nauseating. The left loves to claim that they are the party that represents minorities and poor people's best interests. These leftist loons love to say that they are the ones that will fight for the little guy against the evil conservatives. However, it looks like they may have some explaining to do after what just happened to one of Barack Obama's good buddies. Former U.S. Representative Corrine Brown from Florida was just found guilty on 18 fraud and tax evasion charges Thursday afternoon in a Jacksonville federal court. These charges stem from allegations that Brown siphoned thousands of dollars from charities meant to help minorities. But, what she was doing with this money is absolutely sickening. Brown was not using this money to help the poor and the unfortunate but was padding her own bank account. Brown used these thousands of dollars to help pay for her lavish lifestyle that she has been living. According to Fox News, the indictment came after an investigation into the charity Wondor for Education Foundation Incorporated, which federal prosecutors say was purported to give scholarships to poor students but instead filled the coffers of Brown and her associates. Earlier this year, one door President Carla Wally pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud after it is determined that she had deposited $800,000 into the foundation's account over four years. Over that time, federal prosecutors say it gave one scholarship for $1,000 and that Wiley transferred herself tens of thousands of dollars. Congresswoman Brown and her chief of staff are alleged to have used the congresswoman's official position to solicit over $800,000 in donations to a supposed charitable organization, only to use that organization as a personal slush fund, Assistant U.S. Attorney General Leslie Caldwell, chief of the Justice Department's Criminal Division, said in a statement earlier this year. Brown's former chief of staff, Elias Ronnie Simmons, and the charity's president pleaded guilty after their federal indictments for misusing the charity's funds and testified against Brown. Brown said she was left in the dark about the goings-on with Wondor's money, and blamed the theft on Simmons. Brown said she left those details to Simmons and other hired staffers, and said she should have paid more attention to her personal and professional finances. Like I said before this woman is Obama's friend and she was guilty of all these terrible charges. Plus, it only took the jury 11 hours to come to the conclusion that she was guilty of 18 out of 22 charges. This woman lied on her taxes, and her congressional disclosure forms. This woman was so cold she actually stole money from charities in order to cheat poor people. Of course, true to liberal form, Brown has not admitted to any wrongdoing, but rather has passed the blame to others. Thankfully. Assistant U.S. Attorney A. Tyson Duva didn't believe her crocodile tears and blasted her in his opening statement. Corruption. Greed. And a significant entitlement attitude, Duva told the jury. And that's what this case is about. It's about lying, cheating, and stealing. It's about fraud and corruption of the member of the highest level of the American government. I am glad that she was found guilty and I hope that this is a prediction of more to come. It is about time that these disgusting individuals are found out for the liars and cheats they are. I just hope that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton suffer the same fate. What so you think about this turn of events? Sound off in the comments below. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.